Hello and welcome. On the Shotcut forums, there is a discussion about how to embed or integrate animated SVG files into Shotcut. And awesomely, it's actually totally possible. We're going to use this image file, cute, isn't it? And put it into Shotcut. Now here I downloaded the file to my hard drive and we cannot just drag it in and put it to the timeline. It works, but then we only get the first frame, the static image of it. So let's uh, get rid of that. Instead, let us add a filter. But before we can add the filter, let's add an empty clip. For that, we're going to go to File and then Open Other. And we're going to go to Color and press Color, set Alpha Channel to 0 for transparency and hit OK. Now we're going to go press OK and drag this white thing to the timeline. I'm just going to make this a bit shorter using uh, this here, the Split at Playhead tool with S. I'm going to remove this part, zoom in again. I'm going to remove this part and now we're going to click this and go to filters press a plus and now we're going to pick show video filters down here if you don't see these icons you might have to screw around with your window settings regarding scaling of the display you might have to disable scaling and maybe disable a feature that is supposed to fix scaling anyways i'm going to press this i'm going to go to overlay html here it is overlay html and now we're going to load a file. First, let's try loading the SVG file. It's not going to work, but let's try it. We're going to press the open button and we are here in that folder, but it doesn't even display the file because it's not an HTML file. So let's uh, make it display all files. Let's click on this file. And uh, yeah, as you can see, nothing is happening. Even if we save a file, let's call it happy boat and close shortcut and restart shortcut and open the MLT file. So now we have this little bug where you don't get the filter selection. So let's just split this. And if we click on the clips, we see overlay HTML is here. The file is loaded. If we press reload, it's even loaded again, but it doesn't display. And that's how it should be. So because this is an SMIL animation, we can fix this. The file contains an SVG tag, this file over here. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this with control drag. We're just going to call this cartoonboat.html. Remove the SVG. Yes. To be able to change uh, the file name endings, you might have to go to view and then enable file name extensions. This is what every advanced user should have. And now we're going to open this in the text editor. For example, notepad. Here it is. Let's full screen this. Zoom in a little. And here we have it. SVG starts here. XML we don't need. So let's delete this part. And now from here, we can just copy uh, all this before SVG. Doc type HTML, title, body. Just paste it in here. And at the very end, let's scroll down. We can just insert body and HTML closing tags. And I'm just going to hit save and close this. And uh, we're going to minimize this. We're going to go back to shortcut. And we're going to load a different file now. So we don't have a open new file. Instead, we're going to hit remove the selected filter and add the filter again. Overlay HTML. We're going to open the file again. But this time we're going to pick the HTML file, which has the additional tags. And we're going to enable it. There we go. And it doesn't work yet. But that's just a little glitch. What we have to do is we have to save the project. Close shortcut. Start shortcut once again. Load the MLT file, the project file again. Let, why is there an autosave file? There shouldn't be. That's not loaded. And here we have it. Now it works. Flawlessly and loops. Ah, cute. Also, it seems a bit laggy, although it might be something else on my computer slowing it down. Or just the new shortcut version. I don't know what's going on with 180601. There are some glitches. But this feature works, so that's pretty cool. I'm just going to remove this part, and now let's see what happens if we add a video file. Let's drag in cat on a tree, why not? And uh, let's add a new video track. Drag the cat in there. And make them switch positions. So boat goes here, cat goes there. Boat goes here again. We can cut off the boat a little, remove this part. By the way, if you get this issue uh, where you have this yellow 
area, it means it will be rendered. So you can just move a clip to the end and maybe move this one as well, then remove the empty space and it's fixed. Well, this doesn't really seem to be working in a transparent layer on top of a video. What we can do is, of course, add the uh, HTML overlay directly to the video. So let's add the HTML overlay filter. Let's open the file. And here it is. And we can even use the editor here. <laughs> it even shows it here. We can probably use CSS here to remove padding and margin. Maybe we can even use HTML code. Margin equals zero, padding equals zero without quotation marks, like a real, uh, really bad way to do it. Reload. No, that wasn't it. All right, maybe like this. Style equals margin zero picks and padding equals zero picks. Yeah, that, that did the trick. And of course, I'm sure we can change the resolution here. 720 pixels and 1280. Mm, just only a little bit. Seems to really depend on the base image. Ah, yes, by adding view box, we can actually modify this and scale it. We can set the view box to the original size, 008 by 600. And then if we scale these up, 120 and 160, for example, then it gets scaled. So that's also possible. And we just have to figure out how to reposition this. Maybe with text. Align center. Yep, that works too. So you have all the options of CSS to fix your animation. And then it just works in shortcut. It's extremely laggy though. Yeah, yeah, it is quite laggy. So maybe you want to rend like add it to shortcut, then render it out as a video file, and then add it as a video file. But if it has transparency, of course, you might want to actually embed it like this. Anyways, thanks to overlay HTML, you can do this already, even though this check mark isn't checked. Very strange. All right, hope this helps. Please subscribe to support this channel, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao.